Hey girl, um, just wanted to get this video to you ASAP since I'm kind of busy this week. Um, so what we can start out with is just how to hold your baton. I prefer having, um, holding it sort of like if you're going to pinch it with a pencil. Um, so having your thumb around right here. I don't know if you can see it right here. And then I hold the um, pointer finger around and then the rest of my, the rest of my hand grip, grips around it, but my middle finger really supports it on the bottom. Um, this way it doesn't fall out. Some people hold it like this with the pointer finger on the bottom. I just find it much easier for it to fall out that way. So I like to almost whole-handedly hold it. Um, but mostly my middle finger is what holds it in place. That's just a little pointer that um, I remember a couple years ago that some girls were like, Oh, that totally makes sense. And I was like, oh, that's what I've always done. Anyways, um, so you hold it like this. You want to make sure um, it's hitting your hip bone each time. I guess I have black pants. You can't really see it. Um, but right here, um, right on top of your hip bone, that's where you want to hit it each time. And as I've said before, you'll probably get a bruise there. Most people do, especially their first year um, or when they're working on it. Um, the bruise is kind of a good sign because that means that you're making it snappy. Um, if you're just kind of going through the motions, you probably won't get a bruise. But that sounds kind of weird to say that you want to get one, but it's, it's kind of true in its own little weird way. So um, you want to make sure your free hand's a nice Barbie hand, and then your um, baton hand's right on top of your hip. Um, from this side, this is what it looks like. You want it all to be in line. Um, you don't want your elbows to stick out like this or um, to the back. Um, so you're going to start with your feet together, like this, starting up nice and tall. On seven, you're going to prep down. So it kind of comes um, from the side, your baton, it comes from here, and it comes down to the front. So it's just from the side to the front. While your free hand comes from the side and is down, like um, stop sign hand, down to the side. So seven, you sit into it. On eight, you come up, and your arms are nice and straight. Your baton comes and meets right here in between your thumb and your um, fingers, up on top of your head. And as I've said before, when you're counting, you might want to hear, or you kind of hear a little muffling in each count. It should be, um, I guess, on seven, eight. On every even count, it should be kind of muffled because your arms should be hitting your ears. Um, that's how you know your arms are nice and tight enough. So, remember, you start up nice and tall. Prep seven, up eight. From here, you make a straight line all the way back down to the front of your hip, right here. So, make sure it goes all the way up and all the way back down the same way. Um, now, a problem that's... Um, been in the past with some girls is this free arm. You want to make sure it goes straight up and straight down. Eventually some girls start circling it. Sorry, I don't, I don't do this, so it's really hard. Um, they start circling it around and it makes it look really off and really, really bad. So you want to get in the nice habit to come all the way straight up and straight down. Straight up, straight down. Um, now that's just for the, like, the total basics, um, for, we shouldn't, on trial day, we shouldn't just be doing, um, like, I don't know, I can't remember, I think we might do a couple, um, what's it called, like marching in place, like just if you were to do it like this, um, if we do do that on trial day, make sure that you lift your toes up all the way off the ground, um, I don't know, there might be a chance that some girls will just kind of lift their heels off the ground like this. You want to make sure you're lifting it all the way off the ground so it makes you not look as lazy. Um, so just make sure, it doesn't have to come like all the way up like a marching step necessarily. It's just nice and low. You just flick your foot each time it comes off the ground. Um, Alright, so for Marching Bird, I'm going to try to do this. Sorry, I'm in the dance studio by myself, so it might be a little difficult um, to, like, move the camera. Um, I'm going to try, though. 
So I'll just do a uh, straight forward and then straight back so you can see those angles and then I'll try to get widescreen for later. So for the marching bird, same thing as we did in basics. You prep seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. And then from the back, you're here. Prep seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Um, now, the way I like to um, think about doing it to make it look not like you're scrunched up like this. Um, you want to try to pull your shoulders down while still keeping your arms straight. Um, it's a little difficult because your natural tendency is to scrunch up towards your ears because like I said you want it to be kind of muffled. But at the same time you don't want to look like you have shoulder earrings or something. So keep your um, back nice and straight and your shoulders nice and down. Um, that way, I find it easier to control everything. Um, and as I said before, some girls have the hip swinging tendency. Just really tighten up the core. That's uh, one of the only ways to really fix that. Let me try to figure out how to do widescreen so you can get side video. All right, so I kind of got it figured out on this weird janky setup that I have. Um, sorry, it's kind of far away, but it's the only way I can feel or I can think of to get a wide screenshot of me marching across. So I'll march across with my free arm side on this side and then my baton side on that side so you can see both ways. Um, uh, I think we already went through everything, so let me just go for it. Alright, so remember I said nice and tall. Make sure everything's in line, butt tucked in, abs in. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then from the other side, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I guess something I didn't go over. Let me flip it um, so you can see. Um, one thing that we should probably go over is how to come down from counting. So as you could tell, I went um, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Um, the and down part is uh, something you probably want to work on now because that will just make it easier um, when it comes time to actually do it. So it's five, six, seven. Seven, prep seven, up eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, down seven, eight, and down. So on eight, your arms come up like they normally would, and then they both come straight out to the side, straight down, and you just slap down like this. So again, five, six, seven, eight, one, oh, oh yeah, sorry, seven, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Hope that helps. Sorry it's super long. I just wanted to make it really, really detailed. So um, hopefully you didn't have any questions. But if you do, feel free to ask them and I'll make another video. All right. Hope this helps. See ya.